Imagine sailing on a ship across the ocean, with wind blowing in your hair and waves crashing all around. You visit islands filled with animals you've never seen before. Giant turtles, colorful birds, and lizards that swim in the sea. You write everything down in your notebook, asking questions, drawing pictures, and wondering how the world became so full of amazing creatures. That's what Charles Darwin did when he was a young man. He didn't know it yet, but his questions would change the way people understood life on Earth. Charles Darwin was born in 1809 in England. As a boy, he loved collecting bugs, rocks, and plants. He was curious about the world and always wanted to understand how things worked. His family hoped he'd become a doctor, but Charles didn't enjoy medical school. Instead, he studied nature. In 1831, when he was 22 years old, he got the chance of a lifetime. He was invited to join a ship called the HMS Beagle as a naturalist. This meant he would travel the world and study animals, plants, and landforms. The voyage lasted nearly five years. One of the most important places Darwin visited was the Galapagos Islands. There he noticed something very interesting. Birds called finches looked slightly different on each island. Some had long beaks, others had short ones. These small differences helped them eat different kinds of food. Darwin wondered, could these birds have started from the same kind and changed over time? When Darwin returned home, he spent many years studying what he had seen. In 1859, he published a famous book called On the Origin of Species. In it, he explained a new idea called evolution by natural selection. It was a big idea, but Darwin used simple examples to explain it. He said that animals and plants are not exactly the same. Some are stronger, faster, or better at hiding. These differences help them survive, find food, and have babies. The helpful traits get passed down to the next generation. Darwin called this process natural selection. He said it worked kind of like farmers breeding animals. Farmers choose the animals with the best traits, like the fluffiest sheep or the strongest horses, and let them have babies. Nature does the same thing, but without a farmer. The environment, like forests, deserts, or oceans, chooses which animals survive. Darwin had a lot of evidence for his idea. He looked at fossils and saw how animals had changed over time. He studied bones and found that whales, bats, and people all had similar bone structures in their arms, even though they used them differently. This showed they shared a common ancestor. He also looked at how baby animals grew and noticed that many looked very similar at first, even if they became very different later. Another clue came from where animals lived. For example, animals on islands were often like animals on nearby continents, but with small changes. Darwin believed this showed how creatures could slowly change over time to fit their homes. He also noticed how flowers and insects worked together. Some flowers had special shapes that only certain insects could reach. These partnerships could only happen through many small changes over time. Not everyone agreed with Darwin when his book came out. Some people didn't like the idea that life could change. Others didn't understand it. But over time, more and more scientists saw that Darwin's ideas helped explain what they were finding. Today, most scientists agree that evolution by natural selection is one of the most important ideas in biology. Darwin continued to study and write after On the Origin of Species. He learned more about animals like earthworms and plants like orchids. Even though he was often sick and tired, he worked hard from his home in the countryside. He had 10 children and loved spending time in his garden, watching nature up close. Charles Darwin died in 1882. He was buried in Westminster Abbey in London, a great honor. People remember him not just for what he discovered, but for how he discovered it, by asking questions, looking closely, and never giving up. Darwin's idea of natural selection helps us understand so many things. Why giraffes have long necks, why bears in the Arctic have thick white fur? Why there are so many kinds of birds, bugs, and fish? His work teaches us that all living things are connected and always changing. It also shows that with careful observation and curiosity, 
we can learn amazing things about the world around us. Today, scientists still study evolution. They use new tools like DNA to learn even more. But it all began with a young man on a ship, looking at birds on an island and asking simple questions that led to big answers. Darwin's story is not just about science, it's about the power of wondering, exploring, and believing that the world is full of secrets waiting to be discovered.